Hey guys, so for today's video, I am doing something a little bit different and okay, like if it ever sounds like I'm talking like low, I kind of am because I always film when my son's asleep so it's not like I can be super loud. So um, today's video basically is going to be my top favorite false lashes. So I, I always post on my Instagram and a lot of people always ask me, what are my favorite ones and then a couple of people requested me to do um, my top favorite falsies so although I do love to wear lots and lots of mascara like I, I guess that's how it started with like I've always been obsessed with like lashes in general so in high school I used to wear hella mascara and just lots and lots and lots of lip gloss like that's all I would wear like senior year I was like the mascara girl with tons of um, lip gloss on so then yeah I always just wore hella mascara but lately not lately like I believe it was probably like a couple years ago three years ago I don't know when I discovered false lashes um, that was basically the end like after I discovered them and wore them I just like never stopped so even when like I would go out with my friends, they'd be like, you're wearing false lashes. I'm like, yeah, it's like, I don't know. It was like a big deal back then, but now it's just like totally regular to wear falsies. And so, yeah, and I'm basically obsessed with wearing false lashes. I think they totally make a look. They're just so voluminous. They are my probably my other favorite things besides blush and lipstick. So it's like falsies blush and lipsticks are like my favorite things out of makeup but yeah I just totally love the way like falsies can make your eyes I think they make a look stand out so much and they're just so beautiful and depending on the false lashes you wear it can like either make or break a look so yeah I'm basically obsessed with falsies right now and I've been since I've ever started wearing them but yeah so I, and then at the end of the video, I'm going to show a small demo of how to apply false lashes. A couple of people asked to see how I apply them, and it's really, really simple, so I didn't want to make an individual video for it, so I thought I would just put in a clip at the end of how I apply my false um, lashes. So let's just jump right in it, into it because this intro is super long, so yeah, let's jump right into my false lashes. Okay, so... First and foremost are like when I discovered false lashes. I, I believe it was like Ardell's that I discovered. So I just bought a bunch of them. And every single time I'd want to go out, I would wear these ones. And my friends thought they were like totally dramatic. But they always like told me my like makeup looked really nice. So I mean, although they were like, why are you wearing falsies? They were still like, oh, okay, we really, really do love your makeup. But anyways, the first ones I ever discovered and are my all-time favorites are, of course, the Ardell Wispies. And that's what they look like. Um, this is new packaging, though. So um, this is how they used to look. And this is how I bought them. So I'm hoping they're the same. They look the same. These ones are just, like, worn to death because I've worn them, like, I don't know how many times. So... Yeah, I'm probably going to throw these out since I just got these ones and I just hope that they are the same. Um, it's like I said, they only changed the packaging and these are Ardell Natural Wispies and Black. And I like these because they're all one length. They just give you that extra wispiness and I just love the way they look at the end because it looks like your eyelashes are totally curled and girly and I really 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 love these ones and they're like my first ones purchased like I said and my all-time faves. Okay so then I discovered red cherry lashes. Um, when I used to live back in the Bay Area they used to sell them at like this clothing store so I just like bought a bunch of them and although a lot of them look the same they make they apply differently so like when you wear like 523s they'll look different than 43s but they might look the same in the packaging so my two favorites they're so cheap oh and Ardell's are about $3.99 these ones are about $2.99 so I discovered red cherries not too long ago and once I discovered them I was like hooked and they have a variety of false lashes and 
yeah, I just really, really love their brand. So they're all pretty similar, but they do a little bit different on how they shape your eyes. And these ones are like my all-time favorites from Red Cherries. They're just like, they're kind of wispy, but they are the 43s and they go shorter to longer. And I don't know, I just think these make your eyes look like va va voomish. And I don't know, I just really, really, really love the way these look on the eyes. And I've seen so many people use them. So I'm so bad at explaining why I like things, but 43s are amazing and beautiful and everybody should try these ones at least if I can pick one out of all of them that you guys should try I would definitely pick the 43's from Red Cherry I really 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 do love these ones too they're just a little bit shorter than the 43's they're, they're not as long but when you wear them you can just totally see them because they curl up and these are the 523's from Red Cherry and I like adding mascara to these just so they can blend in with my own um, eyelashes and they just they give you a natural but you still know you're wearing falsies but they give you that natural like voluminous look so I really do like the 523's as well and especially if you blend them in with your natural lashes they look even better Red Cherry um, next is another all-time favorite I guess I have like three all-time favorites but this one these ones are really my all-time favorites like they're not even in the packaging anymore I have to order some more I like wore the heck out of these like I couldn't even put them on my eyes anymore they are a little bit harder to apply but they're so pretty and they are the MAC 35s everybody knows these lashes they're just super long and they like point out but like I don't know like they're just so 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 pretty like I think I wore them in my video of like everyday makeup what do with the 35 is wear like a totally natural look throw on some blush or bronzer and just throw these on they just I don't know what they do to the eye they just make it look so so pretty and anytime I've seen anybody wear these lashes it just it looks oh yeah I know who wears these and I just love her eyes um, wrist rose too she I think these are her like all-time favorites too go look at some of her pictures and you guys will see the way these look they're just so so pretty okay and if you guys can't get your hands on Mac 35 some alternatives are the sirens from house of lashes and these are basically what the 35s look like so Next are what I'm wearing on my eyes today and it is the Coco Lashes and these are in 102 and basically these are super super long. Um, they are somewhat wispy but they kind of remind me of the wispies but just a longer form and they are not as thick. So what I like to do when I add these is just put on mascara over them. I think with a pop of color on your lips they just they just do the thing basically so these are some other favorites and Coco lashes I need to try more of their lashes but basically I get these at ladymoss.com and that's where I get my red cherries from too and I even got my Ardell's so I basically use that site to get them but I do need to try other ones because I seen some new ones that came out and they're called Bella um, and I do want to try those they're just a little bit thicker so this right here, the band, super thin and easy to apply as you guys will see in my demo and I really really do like these ones. Okay, so my next favorites, and these ones are a little bit expensive, I've never ever splurged on a pair of lashes because I went, I think the first time I went to a site and I seen that they were $30 and in my mind I was like no so I automatically just clicked out like I didn't even care to look I just saw the price and I was like no but then I seen a couple of people wear them and I thought why not give it a try there was a code going on so I just entered the code and it was free shipping so I got 15% off so I thought I would try the velour lashes and doll me up and I'm so so glad that I did splurge on these and purchase them because I wore these in one of my videos and 
all of you guys asked me what lashes I was wearing and it was these it was the doll me up from Lore Lash, uh, lorelashes.com and I believe they ranged from $30 and up and the band on these are a little bit thicker but it's still so 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 easy to apply because they're so stiff and rounded that you just put the glue on and then you place it on and it just sticks to your eyelashes so these are really really easy to apply even though the band's a little bit thicker I just love that they cur like they literally like curl up like you can see like the curl how they curl up and they just like bring out your eyes they're so so pretty they're voluminous they're curly and they're like everything you could want in a false lashes so these are another all-time favorites of mine the only thing I would say is look for a good glue when you guys do apply false lashes because I was using the duo adhesive and it would just make my eyes water so much like I kind of stopped wearing eyelashes for a little bit but yeah just find a good glue and right now I show you what I use I use the lash adhesive and I got it at Walmart and I love it because it helps them stick on so well it doesn't take that long to dry and um, for some reason I always have a problem with this eye like it always waters and the eyelash always unsticks right there but lately I haven't had that problem with this glue so yeah I would definitely recommend that glue if you guys are gonna get the false lashes but yeah so basically those were all my favorite lashes and the ones that I tend to gravitate towards of course my wispies are going to be my number ones um, just because I absolutely love the way they bring out my eyes and yeah so those are basically all of my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know if you guys have any of these or what's your favorites or any eyelashes that you guys recommend down below. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Thanks guys for watching. Okay, so the main focus is the glue and you don't need to put too much or too little, just the perfect amount. And that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just putting it lightly. I let it dry for about 30 seconds. And I just place it on the middle part of my eye with my fingers because I don't like using tweezers. Um, and then I just grab the band and I force it to where I want it to be. Um, and then I just use my fingers. And then I do use the tweezers at the end just to place, um, like, if I think it's, like, sticking off a little bit, I'll just use those to, like, push it towards um my lash line and that's basically it after i apply them i just throw on some mascara and blend them in with my regular lashes and that is basically it it's so so simple to apply practice makes perfect so i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you bye